Question number 8 of this exercise says that water in a canal which is 6 meters wide and 1.5 meters deep is flowing with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. How much area will it irrigate in 30 minutes if 8 centimeters of standing water is needed? So we'll look at the canal which is in the shape of a cuboid which is 1.5 meters deep and 6 meters in width. The water in it is flowing with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. To know how much volume of water will flow through it in a minute, we'll have to find out the area of the cross section. So we'll have a look at the cross section which looks like a rectangle. So we'll have to find the area of this rectangle and that will be length into breadth. So if we substitute the values as 1.5 meters times 6 meters, we get the area of the cross section to be equal to 9 meters square. Now we can find out the volume of water flowing through the canal in one minute which will be equal to the speed of the water times the area of cross section. But as we are trying to find out the volume flowing through the canal in one minute, what we have to do is convert the speed which is in kilometers per hour to meters per minute. So that is 10,000 meters divided by 60 times the area of cross section which is 9. So that on calculation gives us 1500 meter cube of water flowing through the canal in one minute. So the next thing that we can do is find out the volume of water that flows through the canal in 30 minutes. And that will be equal to 30 times the volume of water that flows through the canal in one minute, which is 1500. So that gives us the answer as 45,000 meter cube of water flowing through the canal in 30 minutes. So the volume of water that flows in 30 minutes will be equal to the area that will irrigate in 30 minutes and will have a water which is standing 8 centimeters tall. So what we can write is volume of water in 30 minutes equals area times 8 by 100. We have converted 8 centimeters into meters. So here we substitute it as 45,000 to be equal to area which is 8 times 8 by 100. And on calculation, we get the answer as area to be equal to 5,62,500 meters square. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.